et il a déjà gagné les trois grands tours en 2007 et il gagnait le tour maintenant. Donc euh, la formation suisse, les deux directeurs sportifs vont rejoindre le podium au moment où nous présentons les trois avec tout d'abord le médaillé d'argent. He is not the type of person that comes here to just enjoy the sun, you know. So if he comes here, then he has a plan and he believes that he can actually make this plan reality. So I would not count him out and um, I guess the road will give the answer. Coming back from cancer was a lot harder than coming back from three years off and, you know, enjoying life and, and relaxing and staying fit. So uh, he's done it before. I wouldn't be surprised if he can, if he can do it again this time. I think they're going to go probably give it a toe-to-toe -to -toe battle. I think they'll be sitting in uh, in one of the hotel rooms starting a fight one of these days. And <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I think uh, I think it's great. I mean, Johan is going to obviously control the situation. Um, you know, maybe maybe awkward for them. I'm not sure how their they're, what their relationship is like, but they're all professional. They know what their job is, and I think the road will decide who the leader is. I believe he's, he's there to, to do something in, in the tour. He's, he's, he can win, I believe. I don't know how uh, how the condition of Lance Armstrong is, but I think he's going to be uh, one of the main favorites to uh, to win the Tour de France again. I hear uh, Lance is, is very good condition, so uh, he has the, the from the three riders uh, in Astana, he has the more uh, most potential. Uh, to win a to win a tour, eh? he won he won seven times, and if he's really ready, I think he has the most chance to win. People who win the Giro, in general, like after my experience, they're not strong enough to do the same in the tour. So I would not count Menchov in for a podium. Cadel, yes, Sastre, the two Schleck brothers, and then yeah, Alberto and Lance. Cadel really needs someone by him, not only by his side but in front of him. You know, on those big mountain days to just give him that bit of bit of support. You know. It's just these tiny little one percent things that in the Tour de France that make the difference. And if you've got a teammate there, it can make a huge difference. To be honest, I still think they're going to be a little bit, you know, it's not the strongest formation out there. Um, but you know, I think Cadell would have also taken a hell of a lot of uh, experience out of what happened last year. Um, you know, he's understood what it's like to come into a Tour being a favourite. You know, he's definitely had a really good crack and he's come really close on two occasions. So, um, you know, could, it'll be interesting to see how he goes this year.